Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Full Tilt hanging style bike rack and seeing how it fits on this 2023 Honda CRV. With this being a hanging style rack, it's going to hold the bike by the frame with the rest of the bike kind of hanging down below it. That's where it gets its name. This one holds it in place with two zip strips up top. That's going to be these straps that ratchet in and hold it down into the cradles with a third one on the seat post limiting our side to side movement. It doesn't eliminate it entirely, but compared to the hanging racks that use just a rubber strap that stretches over the frame, these work a lot better just because they're going to be more rigid and have some better structure to them, holding that bike down just a bit more securely. There are some limitations with the hanging rack though. The first one being carbon frame bikes. You're probably not going to be able to use those on a bike rack like this because it does make frame contact. And with that more fragile lightweight frame, we don't want to put it on here. Alternative frame bikes and kids bikes are going to need a bike adapter bar. In the case of alternative frame bikes, you just need a way to make the bike hang a bit more level. And with the kids bikes, those smaller frames have a hard time fitting over this dual arm design. So with that adapter bar, it gives a bigger surface area and makes it a little easier to feed over these dual arms. As far as weight capacity goes, you're going to be maxed out at 150 pounds total. Now, how you choose to disperse that really can vary. For a single bike, it can support up to a 40 pound bike. So in theory, you could get three 40 pound bikes on here, totaling up to 120 pounds, but then you've only got 30 extra pounds for these last two bikes to work with. So depending on your setup, you might only be using this for three to four bikes, but if you use it for all five, just make sure that it doesn't exceed that 150. Now this bike rack does have a tilting feature, which lets us get to the back of our CRV with the bike rack still in the hitch. The one downside to that, like many other hanging racks though, is you can't do it with the bikes loaded. So you're gonna have to get the bikes unloaded. We'll start by just taking off those zip strips, pinching the two tabs on either side and pulling that strap out, setting it to the side because they do just fully remove. And that one around the seat post here is gonna be probably the trickiest to get to just with our bike. It sits very close to the tire, but it is doable, especially if you do it one side at a time. And once that is undone, we can just lift the bike off of the dual arms. Now this can be a little bit tricky depending on the bike you have. Ours has a bit of a smaller frame here, so you do have to shimmy it past those cradles and in some cases kind of move them out of the way just to get it unloaded. And we can set that to the side. Now, since these fully remove, it's a good idea to keep track of them. You can either keep them in your car or reattach them to the bike rack so they're ready to go for next time. Anyone could just come by and take them out though if you do choose to leave them on the bike rack. So do with that information what you will. We just keep them down here on the bike rack in the shop so we can keep track of it. But now's a good time to point out the fact that it also has a built-in cable lock. You can see that a lot better now as it comes out of the back of the mast and runs all the way to the front of the arms where there is a locking point right here. So this would run through all the frames of our bikes and lock up the bikes to the rack. And it's nice that it's built right in because we don't have to worry about forgetting this. And for the tilting feature, there's gonna be two levers, a gray one on top and a black one out front. The black one out front is the one we wanna pull to release the whole mast down to the bottom. You can see why we have to remove the bikes because they'd be hitting the ground right now. And it gives us plenty of room to open up our back hatch and have access to the cargo area. Because there's no large platform in our way or bikes, there's full room to walk up, maybe set a cooler in here or a stroller, anything that we might need a little extra space for. So if you're using this bike rack as just a point A to point B to get you and your family to a park or a trail, then I think that's going to be just fine because you're probably only ever accessing the back of your vehicle at home or when you're at your destination already unloading the bikes anyway. And with these long arms, we want to see how much distance it's going to add to the back of the CRV. So we'll go from the bumper to the outer edge of that rack, trying to keep the tape measure in place and seeing where those arms come out to. And it's looking right about 47 inches from the bumper to the end of those arms. So it does add a considerable amount of length to the vehicle. Something to keep in mind when you're driving around with this. 
but if you want to leave it in the hitch between rides and make it a little less obtrusive, you can fold the arms down using that gray lever up top. And when you're doing these levers, just keep your fingers clear because they do have a tendency to snap back down and be a bit of a pinch point. But in this folded state, it's a lot more condensed. Now only sticking out 13 and a half inches from the bumper. So it's a lot easier to pull into a parking spot this way, maybe even your garage at home, depending on the room you have, and it's ready to go for next time. At the bottom of the bike rack, we can check out some of the features here, like the built-in anti-rattle knob. That's going to be what tightens or loosens this in our hitch, keeping it solid and secure. And that does lock up. If you lock it, this knob will free spin and no one can mess with it, therefore making it harder to take the bike rack out of the hitch, if not impossible. Moving in towards the hitch, we can see it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube, but it will work with inch and a quarter as well. If you're using it with inch and a quarter, just make sure it's a class two inch and a quarter. And rather than a standard hitch pin system, it uses this auto pin system. So as I press that button, the tab right here in the hitch pin hole will retract, making this very easy to get into the hitch. All you gotta do is slide it in, release that button, and as you push it in, it'll auto pin out, lock it in, and keep it secure. And overall, this is a pretty solid bike rack. I tend to steer away from hanging style in general, just because they can be a bit more restrictive of what types of bikes they work with, and a bit more problematic of working with adapter bars and just making sure everything lines up and fits. Platform racks can be a lot more accommodating in that way, but they can also get very expensive, very bulky. Something like this is a lot easier to put in the hitch, store in your garage when it's not in use, and it can hold up to five bikes. So if you do have a bigger family and you need a five bike capacity, this is one of your only options and it does fit really well on the CRV. There's a lot of convenience features built in like the levers and that built-in cable lock. So for me, if you're gonna go with a hanging rack, this is definitely one of the better options. And like I said, it does fit really well on a 2023 Honda CRV. Thanks for watching. We're gonna take it out here on the test course. First thing we're gonna do is hit the bumps. We're just gonna see what it's like if we did hit some speed bumps. It looks like it moves just a little bit, not too much. This is mostly standard with other bike racks, so nothing to worry about. The bike doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster in the parking lot and see how that handles. As I'm taking a little slight turn, looks like it's fine. I see a little movement again, but again, the bike's not going anywhere, so I don't have to worry about it.